In today's notes, we're going to take a look at the equation of a circle, okay, in the coordinate plane. So that means we're going to be graphing. Before we take a look at the equation of a circle, I just want to remind you of the equations that you've already learned. So the equation for a line is y equals mx plus b, and there's the graph to the right. Quadratic, both of these we've looked at this unit. The quadratic is the U-shaped curve, okay, with the equation given here. The equation for a line. And then two from Algebra 1, you've learned more than just these two. But back in Algebra 1, you also learned about an absolute value function, which is graph looks like a V. And then the square root function, whose graph looks like this. So it's half of that U-shaped curve that you see in the quadratic. So the equations are all given, so absolute value is y equals the absolute value of x, and y equals the square root of x. The equation for a circle, okay, is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So the hk, the hk is the coordinates of your center. So you take the x value, so they call it h, they call it k, but it's really the x and the y. They just call it something different because otherwise you'd have two x's and two y's. So they call it an hk. So you take the coordinates of the center, and notice here they're both positive. When you plug them into the equation, they switch to the opposite sign, so it goes from positive to negative. And that's true for both cases, both the x-coordinate and y-coordinate switch signs. And then, you set that equal to r squared. And r stands for the radius of the circle, which goes from the center to any point on the circle. So to write any equation, okay, you need the center, you need the radius. So we're always going to note those first. So in the first example, it says to write the equation of the circle graph below. So go ahead and take a moment and write down the coordinates of the center in radius. So the coordinates of the center right here, so it's circle K. So the center is point left one, down one. So the center is negative one, negative one. And then the radius, so you have to count the squares. You can count horizontally or vertically. Okay? Any distance, up, down, left, or right, is all going to be the same, because the radius is the same distance. Counting right is going to be three boxes. So we have a radius of three. Now plugging them back into the equation, okay? So here's the H, here's the K. As I mentioned before, as we plug it in, it's going to be opposite. So if I start my parenthesis, it's going to be x. Well, if this is a minus 1, in the equation it's going to be plus 1 squared plus y. Again, this is a negative 1, so it's opposite here. Because when you subtract a negative 1, in both cases, subtracting a negative turns these two symbols into a plus. Okay, so that's y plus 1 equals r squared. Well, if the radius is 3, okay, r squared is going to be 9. r squared, or 3 squared, means 3 times 3. So you can have the same type of question in terms of a picture and also in terms of words. So here's our, this is right the equation of circle T with center T. A circle is named by its center. So up here, this would have been, here's the symbol for circle, K. So we're given circle T. You can draw a picture if you'd like. This unit too, I like to use the compass, but you don't have to. So we have a circle T whose coordinates are 1, negative 8, and the radius is 7. So you can set up your parentheses. X, now if this is a positive one, it's going to be opposite in the equation, so it's minus 1 squared plus y, now if that's a negative 8 in the equation it's plus, so it's plus 8, and that equals radius squared and 7 squared 
is 49. So we can make a note here. R squared equals 7 squared, which equals 49. So in the last one on the front, it says, which is an equation of a circle whose center is 2, negative 3? Now we know in the circle, these should be opposite signs. So I should see a minus 2 and a plus 3. So that means I can go to choice 1 and 2 because they both have the same sign for the center. And we know they're supposed to have opposite. So we're down to 3 and 4. And then it's equal to r squared. Well, radius squared... 5 squared is 25, so the correct answer is going to be choice 4. Number 5 says to graph the equation. So when we graph, just like we write the equation, we need to know the center and the radius. So in number 5, given the equation, we can look here for the center. So the center is going to be the point, if that's a positive 1, negative 1 positive 3, negative 3, and remember this is the, in the equation, r squared. So what number squared equals 16? We'll solve for r by doing the opposite of squaring, which is taking the square root to get that to cancel, and the square root of 16 is 4. So plotting the center of negative 1, negative 3, right here, and then we have a radius of 4. So you count right 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, left, 1, 2, 3, 4, um, I'm sorry, it's down 4, left 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and up 1, 2, 3, 4. So I will get out the compass just to show you that when you open up the compass to your given radius, it should go through all three points if you've plotted those four points for the radius correctly. So as I draw, I have a nice perfect circle. Okay. If you don't have a compass, just do your best to draw a circle. I always start by kind of making the curve all the way around. That's not too bad. So you can use a compass if you want, or you can just simply sketch it in. But I don't want to see a diamond. Okay. And the last one, find the center and the radius of the circle whose equation is this. Now, if there's no plus or minus to the x or y squared, you can look at this as x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared. x minus 0 simply just is x squared, and y minus 0 is simply y squared. So our center is 0, 0. So anytime it starts x squared plus y squared, your center is going to be right at the origin. And remember, it's equal to r squared. So what number squared is 36? So it's going to be 6 squared is 36, so your radius is 6.